there was something also about coming out here out into the bush that kind of wakes you up I guess wakes up your spirit wakes up your feelings because the bush is so evocative and you just can't not know things that you're really feeling it's just really difficult I don't deliberately suppress being afraid of dying or whatever most of the time I don't think but obviously there's a layer that I do I don't want to know about because when I get out here and you're suddenly vulnerable in this vast space and you just start to unravel and come undone that's probably a good thing I guess anyway I just wanted to say that to balance out the other side of it which is kind of cool so we just stare into the unknown and the sacred I'm at a party for road scholars. I don't want to be there. I walk across the room and through a door and out and up this big hill. There are two trees on the hill. One is in terrible condition. It's withered and dying. But the other tree is blossoming and full of life. I feel the sap rising up from the ground to nourish its shoots. I'm optimistic there's a way to get better. We just don't know it yet. And I'm pessimistic about science getting to it any time soon. I know the chances are slim, and that's when I plug myself into the sacred. The annoying thing is that in a hundred years' time, maybe even thirty, breast cancer will be a thing of the past. I just don't know if I can wait that long. 